cannot even believe that it is three o'clock already. I have spent this entire day trying to hook up a wireless printer, a printer that prints paper. First of all, the printer won't show up on the blue on my Bluetooth on my phone, and then I finally was able to like figure out the Wi-Fi thing, and it had me can my it had me because you can print from your phone, so it had me connect my phone to the HP Digit Wi-Fi, but then it asked for a password, and there was no password to be found for this damn thing. I'm seriously so mad. Like I'm gonna write a letter to somebody. I would never write a letter to somebody, but I'm pissed. Also, I bought this, the Bissell, I don't know, it's a freaking upholstery cleaner. It w I got it on Amazon, but it wasn't on sale. But I'm about to use this, and it's not out of the box. I haven't taken it out of the box. I'm going to use it, and I'm going to film myself using it, and I'm going to let y'all know if it's worth it. Damn it. Actually makes me wonder, are you a person that writes letters or writes a review? Like, you go to a restaurant, service is awful. Are you getting on Facebook or Yelp or Google? And are you writing a review? I'm not judging. I'm just asking. I've, I've written one review in my life. I think. Don't call me. I may have written more. I do, I do not think. I just don't care enough about shit to do that. But. I. It was on Amazon. And whoever makes my lashes. The lashes I used to wear. When I wore strip lashes. They changed them, not the formula, because it's a strip lash, but the, they changed the way the lashes were sitting. And I was pissed. And I liked them because they were cheap. They were so good. Anyway, I just want to know if you're a person. Okay, actually, if, if, if there's something wrong, if you're at a restaurant and there's something wrong with your food, hot, cold, hair in it, are you saying something? I've definitely written good reviews like for friends and stuff but I think the reason to a big reason why I, I don't complain at a restaurant is because I worked in the service industry for it, literally my entire life has been customer service I didn't I was never a waitress okay I worked at a damn country club and I worked at the banquets and I got store I, I punched the mashed potatoes I think I told y'all this there was a buffet and I punched the mashed potatoes and the time oh my god <laughs> wait so many funny work stories from everywhere I've ever worked at. Like the most ridiculous stories. I swear to God, y'all would. But I was just thinking of the time. This is just one instance. My work with my girlfriend, Christina, and we were at the country club on Easter Sunday. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning, probably hung over. I don't know. We were in our early 20s, mid 20s, whatever. And she creates, Christina goes up to a table. She has a tray of like 18 sweeties. And one of the, she dropped the entire tray on the family, this man, directly down his back. He was so pissed. That's not even, that's not even an extreme story. I just happened to think of it. <laughs> why were we working on Easter Sunday? I'm not saying this is why I don't complain, but it is so hard to be on that end of things, on the customer service end. That being said, there are people who work in customer service that are just straight up jerks. Don't want to help you. Don't want to do their job. And everybody has bad days. And there are exceptions. Because there have been days, you know, I worked in the hotel and like, I would get a little bit of attitude when I shouldn't have been. But for the most part, I was so nice. And you'd be nice to the people who are nice to you. It's common sense. Like that shit you learn whenever you're freaking five. Anyway, I don't know where the story's going like most that I tell, but... If y'all love beef sticks, like we do in this house, I'm telling you, it's an obsession. But you want the good stuff, you have to try Chomps. I've shared these before in the past. I do have a code with them for 20% off. It's LMB20. This is high-quality, grass-fed, and finished beef. All stick without the ick. All right, we got 9 grams of protein. Each stick has between 60 and 90 calories. Zero sugar. It's Whole30 approved, certified gluten-free, also certified paleo. Look at that thing, looking like a snack, literally. Ton of flavors to choose from. They also have turkey. We got the variety pack and this has the original mild plus jalapeno. I got this box two days ago and Luke knew that I needed to film for Chomps. He's asked me, he asked me yesterday and the day that I got it, did you film for them yet? Did you... There's four left. 
I blame them because they're good. And they have clean, healthy ingredients. So if you guys want to try them out, use my code LMB20. You get 20% off your chomps. What Luke just noticed on the carpet. <laughs> Y'all tell me what that looks like. Tell me, tell me what it looks like. Make it a poll. Or an answer. But we don't know what it looks like, but we... No, I know exactly what it looks like. It looks like a very angry war... No, he looks happy to me. No, I'm seeing a war-torn, angry mouse. I see it like a toy, like a, a a toy soldier animal at Christmas. I'm seeing maybe a mouse. A mouse. Yeah, I'm seeing a, a mouse with a mustache scream charge. <laughs> I bought. This is a hands-free scroller for your phone. Connects by Bluetooth. You're watching a TikTok, you want to go to the next one, hit the button. You're reading a book, you want to turn the page, hit the button. Turn the page too soon, hit that button. You're listening to your Apple Music, Spotify, want to change a song, hit the button. No more of this. You can put your phone anywhere, prop it up, don't worry about it. What a time we are living in.